Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. Now, a couple of days ago, I made a video about Meta Tailor app, which lets you customize clothes for your Meta humans or any other avatar that you would like to use it with. Uh, that being said, the video got a lot of comments and likes. A lot of people are excited about it. Joined a Discord and whatnot and ask a lot of questions. So in this video right here, what I'm going to be reacting to is a tutorial on how you can take a clothing or an asset from the marketplace or anywhere online and rig it to an Unreal Engine MetaHuman using, again, the MetaTailor app. Let's check this out. In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to import custom wearables and custom avatars into MetaTailor. Let's go to sketchfab.com and find a cool asset. Here is an awesome free cyberpunk jacket made by the artist Dejan31. Go ahead and download the asset OBJ file. Let's jump over to MetaTailor and select an avatar. First, click Import and select Cloth, Accessory. Next, import the OBJ file. The item will immediately appear in the viewport. You can add textures during import, but we're going to skip ahead and add them later. Clicking different categories will snap the item to a relevant region of the avatar's body. Select Jacket as the item category and click Next. Now you are in the pose matching stage. Use the gizmo tools to line up the item and then click Start Pose Match. It does exactly what you think. Let's line up the elbows and wrists to match the pose of the jacket. When you're done, click Confirm, then click Next. Congratulations. You've just pose matched, fitted, rigged, and converted this jacket into a fully interoperable 3D wearable. Now let's add those textures. The item is now fully interoperable, which means it never has to be imported or fitted again. The jacket will automatically retarget itself to fit any custom avatar in your library. You can also use this item to build outfits since it will procedurally layer itself with any combination of other items in your library. In this next example, let's import an item directly from Marvelous Designer. First, save and export the item as an OBJ or FBX. Open MetaTailor, click Import, Cloth Accessories. Add the textures and complete the pose matching process. Great! Your item is now part of your interoperable asset library. Meta Tailor allows you to import custom avatars and avatars from popular platforms. To start, let's jump over to Mixamo.com and download Romero the Zombie. Back in Meta Tailor, click Import. This time, select the Avatar Import option. Import the Avatar FBX. The avatar will appear in the viewport with any embedded materials already applied. Click Next and review the landmarks. Landmarks are how Meta Tailor maps out the proportions and measurements of an avatar. The landmarks will automatically map to the avatar, but you can refine and adjust the landmarks by clicking on them. When you're done, click Next. That's it. You've just imported an avatar. Now you can open the content browser and start crafting. To get started with MetaTailor, head on over to metatailor.app and sign up for the early access. We can't wait to see what you create. All right, so whenever they sent me this video, I watched it like halfway through because it honestly blew my mind right away. If you've been rigging clothes for a meta human, what you just saw is really out of this world. I honestly, I, I told him, I don't even know how to make sense of this because this is, 
this is just beyond insane on how easily you can break clothing now. Like this solves our clothing issue, not having enough clothing for meta humans. In my opinion, it does. Because again, whenever I started, you know, using meta humans, I would have freelancers rig the clothes for me. And that could take a long time. That can cost money. And sometimes the freelancer would be like, oh, I'm not done with it. Uh, you know, it's going to take me uh, one more week. And then it looks like garbage. But it just takes away all of that. You know, and it's it's actually taken away software subscriptions as well because you, now you don't have to pay for Maya to rig the clothes. If you don't want to, you don't need to get Marvelous to create the clothes. I mean, honestly, again, if you're very serious with using MetaHuman or any av avatars you have, this is something to consider. And what's crazy about this is they actually sent me a photo. I don't know if I'm supposed to be saying this, but they sent me a photo of a goat, an animal wearing clothes, because that's apparently coming to Meta Taylor app, being able to dress your pets. So that's that's insane. Uh, that being said, additionally, I know we received a lot of questions about this app. They did create a frequently asked questions on their Discord page that I'm going to link in the description below. So if you have any questions or anything like that, check out the link in the description. If you have a question, it's probably been asked already. So go to Discord, look at that. But yeah, this this is insane. This is honestly, this blew my mind more than the previous video that I saw. Uh, that being said, I know a lot of my subscribers actually signed up for this. I want to know your opinion in the comments below if you're trying it out or whatever. Uh, feedback's always good. And I'm actually really curious to see what y'all are going to make with this app right here. Peace out.